Right, come and join me in the car. We are going to show you in this video how to install this Android head unit. Come on in. So, we are going to do step-by-step -step instructions of how to install this Android head unit in your Land Rover Discovery 4. And it should all power up and there we go. Like so. Right, but we'll do a demonstration in another video of how to use it. But this is basically the step-by-step -step installation. So we're going to show you how to take these dash parts off, how to take the clock out, how to do it, and how to install the cable. Now, you don't actually have to remove the CD player. You'll see in the instructions, you just have to move it forward slightly to put the interposing connector in. And we've already done the unboxing video, and we'll put the link there to show this and another system. But basically, if I just undock this quickly, what we're going to see in this video is basically how to remove the screen and how to thread these wires through to connect to this Android head unit. Now, point to note, this unit is, oh, I'll leave that precarity balance there. This unit is for the Denso system. There are two systems on the Land Rover Discovery 4. And actually, this is the same for the Range Rover Sport 2010 on. There's the Denso system and the Bosch system. So I'll put a picture on the screen now that shows you what your menus will look like and also the back of your unit. But the two systems are different. And basically, you'll see as we do the install, there's a circuit board we need to install. And that circuit board is different and a different configuration for the Bosch and the Denso. So when you order one of these, make sure you get the right one for the right system. We've done this and this is a, a Denso. Ours is a Denso system. So. Enjoy this video. Right, let's get in the car and let's start stripping down. First thing, this top panel here, we've got a bit of glossy stuff stuck on the top here, but you should be able to get under here and pry that up. So it's got two spring clips here. So we're going straight up and that will reveal these two lovely yellow screws on the top, which won't be yellow on your car. I've had this apart to make the screws yellow. We've changed from the orange pen. Now, all the screws we're going to take out in this video of stripping this down are all the same. So we're going to, that's what we've got. Is it Torx T20 or 25? 20, there you go. Oh, we've got some. Right. right, so there you go, that's two of those. Right, now we can take this front panel here off. Okay, so let me see. And I don't want to take the trim off the front. I made this mistake when I did it myself. I wanted to take the, the whole panel out. So, oh gosh, we've, we've destroyed it. Don't worry, don't panic. Right, so you can see this panel here removes and it's got a series of clips I can't even really see on the front here. Um, but that seems to clip in. Right, where's the bit that's taken a dive? We'll get him back in, look at this. It's all a bit clipped together. When I first tried it, this front, this front chrome panel comes off, but it didn't break anything. It just separates from that. But you need to get it all out. So there we go. All right, we got that Tyler. We we looking good. Yes. Right. We can see we we can't get to the screws yet because we've got these two panels on. But let me just take the ashtray out. Right. That just comes out. Let me just push it back again because that's going to reveal two really sneaky screws that are down the bottom. Right. Now, these side panels, they don't come out too badly. Um, so basically, this whole bit here is a panel. Now, we do have to take this little stop-start switch out. We can, because there's a connector on the back, and I don't want to stress the connector. So let me see if I can just... It's quite sort of springy, this. So that just extracts from there. You've got a little connector here. It's only on this little tab here, but you can't press it in. You just have to give it a pull, pull on a wiggle. And that comes out. There you go. Stop, start, switch. He's not bad, Tyler. 207,000 miles. And look, it hasn't worn the paint off. Or is that, I don't know. Right, and who knows? Right then. Right, so now this this is, this is needs to just pull towards me. Um, we, can, we can grab it under here because this bit's going to come off it. There is a... Right, let's have a... Oh, there we go. Oh, hold on. I don't want it to pull. What's it pulling out there? I think something's getting caught there. I don't really want that. Yeah, yeah that should be still. All right, now, now the bot. Right, there we go. Right, there we go. So that all comes out. Now, I will give you a tip now. I spent hours trying to work out how to fit this back in. And when you fit it back in, put it in at the top, 
rotate it down, but there's this little peg at the bottom that stands out. And what you've got to do is, as I actually coloured it in, I think, on one of these. Oh, there's a bit of an art to removing this. But you've got to, like, go around. It, 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 it will go, but it, there you go. Because you come out with the air, the air vent ducting there. Um, so that's all good. Now, there's this panel, this, this little strip at the bottom here. Um, and you've got to get that down underneath. So when you put it down, rock it in, but push it right down before you push it back. If it doesn't go in properly, if it's fighting, you've got to sort of push it down further and then push it in. So it, it does go right. That's that. That's that one done. Now, so there we go. We've got that one connector. Remember that for later. Right, and then we've got to do the same on the other side. That's it. Again, you will have to pull a bit because you've got this little sort of bottom. You see this bottom bit here? That bottom bit there docks into this little. So as you pull it out, but it's all quite squidgy and bendy and stuff. There we go. So that's that one. Now, again, you've got these spring clips here. So it's just, it's not too bad that. Right. Now, everyone's already working out what's next. Right. So you've now got a plethora of screws to undo. Basically, every other screw. So it's a mirror image, everything's a mirror image. So here we go, let's rattle through this as quick as I can. I could have got the power driver, but let's do it real time. And then people will get an idea of how long it takes, believe me, in one take. Oh, here we go. George and I were doing this yesterday, but we, uh, we end, sometimes the whole watching Simon work things out thing is, is good fun, but other times it got a bit long-winded yesterday. <laughs> You really didn't need to see me. Here we go. All right. Yeah, and George filmed from the front. I've put Tyler in the back today. You're right in the back there, Tyler. Yeah. Okay, right. My face is. It is a bus. We do love the disc. I might tax the disco for. Put it on the road. Right then. Now, now this panel actually does just pop out. Hang on. I want to have a look at that. Right, so that. And it's got some connectors on it. So we need to start remembering what connectors are where. So we have a small connector on the side. We've got, oh, we've got a little clip to press in on that. So we've got this red connector on the side. Now, bear in mind when you put this all back together, make sure we got leave this rooted out. So you see it's got the red strip and it's got this little pressy bit there. Right? And then you've got the power for the clock there. Okay, again, there's no release clip on the clock one. It's just one of those push ones. So you can see these are the clips that hold it in. So again, that's just a straight extraction job. Make sure no clips get left behind. Same thing with the side panels. Just make a quick check that you haven't left any clips behind. It's probably better to put them back on these pins. But that one's behaving itself. Right, back to the screwage. Mm -mm. So all the screws are the same. Right, so this is the screen we're trying to take out. We're not doing too bad on the screen. Right, and there's two up in here. Can you see those, Tyler? You got enough light on those? Yeah. That camera's really good in low. I swear I can see more on that camera than I can in. Does it look brighter on there than it yeah, does yeah. to the eye? Yeah. Right, now you don't want to be dropping these, so I'm going to try and keep my. Keep my fingernail behind the back of that screw head. Sorry, I got my fingers in the way. Oh, there you go, see, put a little fingernail on that. Right then. Right, so in this video, we're gonna do the fitting. We probably won't do the whole testing of the Android system. That's gonna take a bit, a bit longer to do. Now we should be able to extract the screen. So there we go, that just comes out. All right, now, on the back of the screen, we have got a whole host of connections, which I will attempt to show you, but we may have to, I'm going to have to undo some of them just by feel. Right, so we're now around the back of the stereo. So the first one is this grey one. The release tab is underneath. So there you go, there's the connector there, and that's the little release tab you've got to pick there. Right, the next one is the fibre optical connector, and the release is on the side. So... This here is your fibre optic, your most bus, and you've got to release that little bit there. Beep, beep, beep. And this is the one's ribbed for extra protection. Right then, 
What have we got here? We've got another grey one here. The tab again is underneath it. Release that. So, oh, come here, you little. So again, we're just pressing that little springy. You can normally feel the springiness on them. Right, and then we're down to the slightly trickier one, which is the Fakra connector, which is probably an antenna. I think there's something at the side. You have to press in here. Ooh, press something in at the side here. Yeah, let's have a look. There we go. Oh, he's... I'm, not, I'm never quite sure what I do, but it works with those. I think that little bit in the middle. But, yeah, has he got, he's got something going on there, hasn't he? He'll come out here. Yeah, you wiggle him out. So there we go. So that is the screen. Now, what we have to do, a little sneak preview on the screen, all the coloured nuts and screws we will have to undo. So you've got to undo those. And then we've got to take this front panel off and remove this top panel to get to the electrics. But we will go and do that on the nicely lit workbench inside. Right. But what we've got to do is we've got to change this. Is this connector at the back here. Now, we might better do it. I, I, there's not really enough room. And for the sake of a few screws, I'm just going to undo these screws and it'll allow me to just slide this whole unit forward um, just to make doing that connector easier. And it may also help someone who's watching this video who wants to change this whole stack. Well, we can take that off, actually. Right, so this front panel comes off. You'll feel it's half loose, but there are some screws underneath. Um, these are the sneaky ones. These are the ones you won't find. So if you just dive down here, you might have to slide your chair back a bit, Tyler. Can you see him in there? There he is. And these are the ones you will not find. They're hidden. Now, I don't know if I need to take those off for this, but we'll have them out anyway. And again, these are the ones you will lose the screw. So put your finger next to it as you're extracting it, he says. Come on. Come on. There we go. Mm -hmm. Deposit him. We've got the same on this side. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Right. And then now this, this is a bit weird, this. It sort of, it, it comes away at the front and then it separates from this lower panel. But you've got to sort of fight it and it, it somehow doesn't feel right. But it will, it will. There you go. It doesn't break. It feels like it breaks. We'll have a look at how that clips in. And we've got this connector on the back here again we've got a little release underneath i'll show you give me a second right you've got another one there like the one we had before give him a little press there beep, beep, beep. right um there's the front panel right it's these bits at the bottom these these little tabs here docking i'm not totally sure how they they work but they sort of seem to grab it pretty fierce this you don't need to disconnect this wire this goes up to an illuminated Bit, I think right and the eject button right both gone right how are we looking now Tyler right so this is revealed you have to get that out to reveal these yellow screws which won't be yellow on your car unless you're buying my car I'm watching a P5 yesterday. Yeah, Tyler, oh, I got Simon's car <laughs> I'm, I'm rubbish at selling cars I want I tell you yeah. well we did sell one the other day didn't we what do we got rid of the Honda Civic went the other day didn't it? That, was easy one, that was an easy one that was an easy sell right how are we doing now uh, ah, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Do those ones need to come out? So I want to extract this. They do need to come out. Look, I'll edit that bit out of the video. <laughs> Probably won't. If anyone's not watching the whole video now. Hold on, man. Right, is that going to come? <sighs> there we go. Um, yeah, but you see, you do need to, to remove all that other nonsense there. Right, but what that allows you to do is to slide that forward. Now, see how this wire comes through that little hole there? Be careful you don't dislodge that. Right, now it's this big here, this big cable here we need. Right, and then we'll, we'll unplug him. <laughs> Give him a wiggle, he's coming, he's coming. Go on. Right then. Right, that big badger now. And we'll get the new, we'll get the new lead. Um, we'll plug that in and then we'll go and strip the head unit down. So you will notice that this connector on the new loom is the same so we need to get that the same way up let me give him a bit of a bend Look. Whoa, it's all going wrong tyler it's all going to end in tears all right then. there you go and we'll listen for the click here we go he says oh there's no click oh no we need the click it's got always tight Right, there we go. That's that one in. 
So this one now needs to go into the other end. So make sure you replug that. So that one now needs to go in there. Whee. There you go. Right, so that is there. And now what we need to do is we can put this one back in without trapping any wires. All right. And then we can tuck all this tidy. But we'll leave that for the minute. Let's get a couple of the screws back in. Yeah, those screws you don't need to take out, Tyler, then. The only ones that run, you know. Yeah. They're... Practically removed every screw, haven't they? Yeah, there's not many left. <laughs> yeah, there's... Oh, look. Oh, yeah, there's one. All right. All right. Good, right. We'll leave all that. We've got all that to sort out later. Don't know where any of that goes. Don't care. Right. <laughs> what have we got? We have got some trickery here. We've got, a, we got an, an audio in. We've got USB bits and stuff. Look, we've got USB... And we've got those um, antennas to root. But let's get on and strip this badger down. Right, we are now at the workbench. So here we go. So first thing we need to do is remove this black bezel. And it's just held on. It just sort of goes over these, these clips that I've sort of made orange. I have been busy with the pens, haven't I, Tyler? Like a... Yeah, I yeah, let's have a look. How am I going to... That's that. I can try as I get that one off. And then it, it sort of almost needs another thing to... Yeah, I'll let my collection of screwdrivers here there you go that's, that's released that side and that's come away there look oh he's gone back on that one loves to go back on come on i think he's bent that one out there you go all right and i got you got to keep that one off so he doesn't clip back on and get this one off then i think he's given up now he's Right, there you go, right. So something like that, that will release that. What's gripping it at the bottom now? Oh, it's got two little pegs that go through. Just push on those, right, and that is the front bezel removed. So just a sneak preview, this is, we are gonna remove the screen and then this is gonna sort of go over like that. And then this is gonna sort of go on to there like that. Just so that you see where we're heading, right. So we now need to remove all the screws I've coloured yellow. So, so that's these, this top one, because we're going to remove that frame. You don't need to remove any of these side screws. Um, and we also need to remove this back panel. Now, all the screws are the same other than these five. So what it might be worth doing is if you just colour these five screws on this back a different colour, because these are different. These are bigger than all the others. So we can keep those all together. Just have a, I'll give you one, Tyler. You can have a, they're just slightly bigger head. And they've got a head on there, if I'm not mistaken, Tyler, that's sort of half cross head, but you could use a flat on it as well. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah, they've got a wider, a wider straight through bit. Right, so there we go. Now you do need to put this back on. So everyone can see the orientation of that though, right? There you go, so that's that. We need that later. We'll keep that with those five screws look tied. Right, okay. Now let's take the front bezel off. So you need a smaller screwdriver. Now all these screws are all the same now. These are super tiny little things. Whoa. Right, there you go, Tyler, for your visual inspection. Yeah, there's a screw. It's tiny. Magnetic screwdriver helps for this. Because you can sort of extract them. Right. So that's the two on that side. You got that toilet? Yep. yep. Two on the other side. It's a little boring. People can fast forward it, can't they? You don't have to watch. That's that. Oh. There right, we go. Ooh, two. So, see how many people are. So it is a tricky ish sort of job, to be fair, isn't it? It's not plug and play, but. Let's hopefully see if it's worth it. Right, that's those four out. Then we're going to do the bottom edge. One, two, three. At the very least, there's no element of luck. It's just... Yes. Oh. Yeah, there it is. We'll be right. We'll be right. Well, we'll see. I had this all apart. I was trying to work it out. Jenny helped me out. Shout out to Jenny. 
Who's Jenny? Everyone's asking. <laughs> Jenny's my friend in China. Right, there we go. Three there. Right, and then another three on the top. So Jenny in China actually makes these and she wants me to stock them, but we're not sure yet. But anyway, we'll we'll put the details up, so. Right. right, so then we can remove this front screen cover there. We will not need that again, I don't believe. Now, be a little bit careful now, because this sort of screen is loose. You can see there, you can flip it over. Now, we're not going to remove these cables. We've got a... We're going to remove them at the other end, I believe. I've got to remember which way we do this. All right, so we're going to leave that there for now. All right, um, before I do anything, I'm going to get these. I'm going to get that one there. Again, all these yellow screws are all the same. All right, and we need to take this panel off here. Now, bear in mind, I have had this apart before. And the way these metal cases are made, the... They're sort of, you can see these little press marks here. They sort of put little dimples in them. So when they press together, they're, they're really tight. So when I appear to just get something off, like this panel here, it, it will be a lot tighter. You will have to sort of separate it a little bit. Well, let's have a look if that's, that's going to get this. Because you can see along the top here. And some of these tabs go under and some of them, and they sort of grip in a sort of, in a sort of fashion like, like that so some are below and right so let's have a go let's have a go will this panel come off now i don't want to i've got a little gap there i can use come on there you go so that's separated the top off but i still got some screws on the bottom again you'll notice right, well, there's no screws on the bottom so again it might just be a question of just Pry in between there. You see, you've got the little back edge there. It gives you a little bit of a, a place where you can sort of pry. But yours is going to be way tighter than that, because yeah, where they where they put these little nipples, it it really grips onto the panel there. So there we go. So there's that panel removed. Now that should expose where these where these panels go. So um, so in order to remove this screen here, um, you can see we've got to get now this one here. This is, it's held over these two tabs. So you've got to sort of push this, push this here. You got, now it's, well, you've, got to, yeah, you've, got to, you've got to bow that up yeah, to get it off this tab at this. I've got to get this, this little bit off this end here. He's a bit fiddly. I don't want to stress the, I don't want to press on where the wires are too much. Let me try and hang a... There you go. And then at the back there, I'll just push him, push him back, and he should, he should come. Come on. There you go. He should come forward. All right. Now I think let's have a look. So that's that's that one. Now what I'm going to do now is I've got this pot here handily, just to rest this on. All right. I don't want to stress these cables. Right, and then there's six screws at the top here, Tyler. Yeah, you got those? Yeah. Right. Okay, now these are what hold this top metal plate on. Okay, again, all the screws are the same, all these yellow ones. That magnetic screwdriver is a must. That one there, I couldn't actually get back in. I couldn't line it up, so I've only got five here. No one will notice, though. They always do, though, don't they? <laughs> right. Right, that's it. Right. So this panel now should, if I remember correctly, should... Ah, now I think you need to... Yeah, so I've put these little arrows here to remind me. So you need to lift it up at the end nearest these flexes first. There you go, like that. Hinge it up, and then you need to extract it this way gently. There you go. And again, when you put it back together, notice that there are some tabs that go under and some tabs that go above. 
and it's sandwiched between the two. So that's that panel. Right, now this gets more fun. This gets more fun. You've got a good view of all this, Tyler. Right, so these are little flex cables. Polyemide they're made from. I used to make these, right. Um, but what they do is they come down onto this, and what you've got is this little bar, this little metal bar runs across the back. Now, if you're ever so gentle, you can just open up that. There you go. See, see, that's lifted the bar. Now, you've lifted the bar. You've half done the job. As I go further, so it's a little bar that's normally lying flat like this. You've got to get it up. And then when you go right over, it sort of semi-ejects the circuit. So let's see if we can do this. So there you go. And then I should be able to extract that circuit out the front gently. Give him a wiggle. If he doesn't go, you can push this brown bit here and give this brown bit at the top just a bit of a just a bit of a nudge forward come on baby come on baby come to daddy yeah there you go right so notice that all the gold plated contacts here are on the underside these connectors if you're ever unsure it's always the side nearest the circuit board that has the gold plated fingers right so that's that one right now let me have a look what we can do now now we can extract this back a little more, do, 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 do. right? And then we've got this one. Now this one's a bit of a pig. To get to this connector around the back is kind of, because we've got to lift that bar up. So you need to sort of almost come in from the side. Just there you go, see that? Is that coming out nice on the camera, yeah. Ty? And then you've got a lot, again, if I push it a little bit more, you should sort of half eject the circuit. Let's get that little brown bit a little, Give that little brown bit a tiny nudge. He should be all right. Let's give him a little wiggle. There you go. All right, there you go. And then you see you've got the gold plated contacts. So when you put these back in, I will do that in a second. Right, so here we go. That is the screen. Now we do not need the screen. Now what we'll find is that instead of that screen, this circuit here will replicate that screen. So everyone's going, OMG. Right, so let's just have a little break for a second. Right, so this circuit board is going to plug into these two, the two that we've, we've sort of liberated here, and it is going to come around and it is going to sit on top. So it's really cunning, it's purposely made, but you've got these four holes here, one, two, three, four, and they line up with four of the holes in the circuit board. I've coloured them yellow, you can see here, one, two, three, four. And what we can do is in the kit you get this, and Jenny stitched me up. She only sent me three of these. You're supposed to get four of these in the kit. Okay, so we're going to have to... Um, so what you do is you put these in here. Now, actually, I had a... What did I, I came up with a cunning plan yesterday. I found this Torx driver that just gently fits inside there. It's sort of like my speed insert tool. Look at that. But you don't... Be careful. You don't want to damage the internal threads, but... Yeah, I did get a tiny socket, actually. I decided this was much cleverer. I've got the socket there ready. All right. It, it helped. It was really fiddly to get the first bit, and it, it sort of holds them. All right. So you should have four of those. Oh, I've only got three. All right. And then you want a socket, which I think is, I think it was ridiculously small. I think it was like four mm four millimeters. Yeah. There you go. Little. But again, you don't want to be fierce with it because you're only clamping on that circuit board. So these are what we call PCB stands off, and it's just to stop the any exposed contacts on here touching the electrics on there. So we're going to put that on there, and then it, right, don't do what I just did and screw this circuit board onto here because then you cannot access that bottom connector. So bear in mind we've got the gold plated contacts facing the circuit board. What we've got to do is we've got to lie it on its belly, and we've got to put it in here. Now this is this is the bit you are going to get wrong. Okay, this is the one that you've got to make sure you get it in the slot right and that it goes in fully. So you see, you see there, you can see that dark layer. When it goes in fully, the dark layer is flush with the brown bit. And then what you've got to do is you've got to get your little bar and spin your little bar back down and give it a pull test. Now that didn't feel like it was in right because I pulled it out, as you can see. Let me pull that up again. Let me try this again. Let me see if it might. Oh. Okay, let me pull that right back up because that might open it up. Ah, oh, there you go. Look, that's pulled it right back up. That's a better job. Look. All right. 
Ah, now look, it goes in way further. You see, so you see there, and it keeps going. Yeah, so it's not, you've got to make sure it's in properly back. Make sure that's fully open, and then clip that down, all right? And then you can give that quite a strong pull, and it won't come out. So there you go. Right, now this next one up here we've got to get in. So we've got to get this one in. Let me turn it sideways. Hopefully we can both see what we're doing, Tyler. So same again. All right, so this. All right, so he's fully up, isn't he? He's fully open. If my eyes worked, it would be so much better, Tyler. Come on. There you go. All right, so we go way past that. Yeah, way past so that bit disappears. And get that bit. Give that and they should be quite hard to press down you should feel it you're actually doing some clamping force right that one's good and then we can get on get these screws provided to us Ooh. get them loaded up on your screwdriver load that up all right and i'll get the other three screws in right now we're ready to put this panel back on be careful we don't mash up anything all right and we've got to get these bits here Ooh, this, here we go. so we've got to make sure we've got these these in behind and those over and that should just push back down on there and hopefully these screws will then line up let's load another screw on to me <laughs> So yeah, we we are, but we're not. Yeah, because we're we're going to put as many screws as we can back in. Um, but right. So for example, this panel here, I'll just explain some stuff. Now, obviously we can't put this back on because this is standing up too high. Um, it, it, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's just not gonna fit. You can see these components are touching these. So unfortunately you cannot put that back on. It would be really neat if you could, um, cause you've only got this and you'll see later, it, it all looks a bit exposed, but this is the way they've done it. So you can't put that back on. The screen can't put back on. I guess we could probably put this back on but I don't think there's any meaning to putting this back on because because all this is going to cover it. So we are OK like this, but I'll put any screws I can in just to make it all a bit more rigid and line up. So there we go. We can, we can put these two in, can't we? Lined up. Looks all right. Looks all right. I just need a little nudge. There you go. It's a bit of flex in the case. Going a bit sideways, but what? Right, I'll get these in. Now we're going to put this metal panel back on. Now remember this, it only goes one way because you've got this sort of fifth screw that lines up or doesn't line up if you've got it on the wrong way. Um, and remember this was the those screw, those bigger screws we took out at the start. So those ones you've coloured in. There you go. Again, a little tip, don't do the first one too tight on all of these because where you've got some alignment to do, you don't want to scupper yourself. Right, so we'll get these five screws in here. Now, we're ready to put this on, but we can't put this on because all the cables for here have got to come through these holes. And if you look, what, what you've got here, well, they've only got four cables here. But if you look from the back side here, you'll see there's this tab where my thumb is. And that is going to go in there and it's going to dock down. So you can see that the antenna cables have got to pass through this hole. The white connector has got to pass through here. And the FACRA connector has got to go through this hole. So everything's going to have to be done. So I think we're going to do this all last. This will be our final step of the installation. We'll, we'll leave this loose. We'll thread the cables through. We'll plug this in and then we'll sort of boosh it all together. Now, one point to note, just while we're in the good light, it looks like the screws are going to come from here. So let me just, just pop these out. These look like little finishers. Okay. I wonder if, 
Oh, they're neat, aren't they? They're on a little hinge, look. And there, the screw is going to go down there because once you've docked it, you can put, like, for security, there must be two screws somewhere. And, and they're hidden by those little flappy bits. They're quite cool. I like that. Right. Let's get back in the car. Let's get this in and let's get that myriad of cables wrapped up through. Right. So we've got these three connectors here that we need to reconnect. I've, I've left all my other wires coming around the side. We've got our little FACRA connector there. We've got the clock one coming through the middle. We've got the aircon one down there. Right. We're all good. So let's gently grab this. I, feels kind of sketchy with it all exposed there so let's get this and we'll do it in the reverse order we we did it in so we'll start with that fat connector oh i'm gonna have to slide forward a bit okay he's gonna go in there okay that silver one is gonna go in the tabs at the bottom we'll try and do this blind it's tricky there you go but they are all foolproof, you can only get them in. Let me get that optical one in. In next. You're going to be working blind on this. Right, that's it. That's it. And then you've got your grey one to go in. Right, so I've got all those in. So we're good, right? And then we can tuck him all back in there. He's in there. Now I think I think he was screwed in there, wasn't he? Now we, we might I'm gonna just put a screw in there just to hold it, but yeah. I think we may need to take it out again because it may go through that front plastic panel. Yeah, that's what that's yeah, Alright, let's make sure we're not we're not squeezing any cables. At least I've got him in place there. He's not gonna move about or get jiggled, is he? But it kind of feels a bit sketchy with it all exposed, but it'll all be good in the end. Right. So we are now ready to put back the interior panels. Um, the heater, let me grab the heater. Right, put the fascia back on now. So this has only got the single connector, that long red one there. Slide him in. Right, and then you've got to dock this in down because I've got to engage it in that. Now there is a funny little bit on the bottom of here. There's a funny little tab. You see this little, if I put my finger behind it, you can see that tab has got to go into that little hole there. And uh, when I did put it back together, all right, let's have a look. It should, I think I'm making this look harder than it is. All right, let's get it central. I'm not, I'm nowhere central. Ah, oh, there you go. All right, again, make sure that, that bit goes up into that. We'll have set the hazards off. Right, there you go. Right. That's all okay, yeah, but make sure you've got that bottom bit. Let me just check his, his right toilet. Oh. Yeah, he's good. Right, and then let's fire these extra screws in here. Right, don't forget, right, I'll get all these back in, but don't forget those two screws that are right underneath here. <laughs> Um, or you'll be left with two extra screws. Right, let me get those all back in. Right, let's put the ashtray back in. And it just seems to go we'll look at that. He's found his own way. Right, and then we've got this panel. Make sure the clock's the right way up. Get the clock, the clock one in. There's only one way the connector can go round. There you go. He's in. Whoa! <laughs> push it away. Don't push too hard. You push it out. Right here, yeah, clock's back. All good. All good. All good. All good. This little red connector goes somewhere at the end here. All right. Again, make sure they're clicked in. And then these little spring clips just go in these little slots at the side. That's it. So let's just have a, a refresh of where we are, shall we? So this panel is going to go in. We know this needs to go through one of these holes. I can't remember which one it is at the moment, but we'll, we'll just put it through the middle one for now. Okay, and that is going to, uh, hopefully, yeah, that, hopefully, have they left enough room for us to get that in? Or, or are we going to not be able to get that in with that clock there? We may have to extract the, we'll just pull that clock panel forward again, I think. Ooh, right, yeah, so you're going to have to, we'll leave that plugged in, though, and then that will give us enough room there to go in there. So I think now we're going to have to start 
getting all the other cables connected in so we need the we need the gps antenna we need the aerial antenna um and we need the main we need this we need that one there and we need the one on the loom right let's get ready right so i've, I've got the screen up here and you can see which order the so the white connector on the loom now this loom from here to here is a bit long i think because it only needs to go up through here so so and we know that it needs to go through this aperture there so the rest of that loom there now don't go tucking it in that air vent hole there because that that we need and be careful with that that connector there we need that for the start stop switch or we're not going to be going anywhere but there is a whole load of room there we've got an inline fuse all right so, so that's not too bad is it well, at least we've got somewhere to and obviously we've got to make sure where this comes in and it's going to have to come in through this side bit here because they didn't we were looking tidy weren't we and there's not a lot of room to get the cables through there yeah. um because you can't come through the bottom here so that's gonna have to go through there the blue one's gonna have to go through that end there so we're nearly there okay right and then and then we just need to get the two antennas through and then i think we'll try and get that screen in and then we'll we'll do all the peripheral stuff last right so we've got two antennas here be careful because they're both the same sort of thread so when we connect those at the end we'll have to make sure we get the one that's the gps on the gps one just watch that right so let's put that back up there again um right so where's the gps antenna tyler let's now ideally you want line of sight now i did watch one video where someone grabbed this one and tucked it up in their headline in or ran it up here um i'm not sure where i'm going on the you really want to get it in the windscreen somewhere i think but some of the windscreens the heating elements reduce the gps it would have been better if they could have used the car gps but we'll we'll ignore that we'll gloss over that we're not too worried where it goes for now we just know it needs to come up through that middle hole right tyler's pointed out that he thinks i've got the blue one through the wrong hole and i think he's right goes there right so we've got the white one through the one right and then we need right q this is the 4g antenna now this is so this it looks like this unit does have a, the ability to put a sim card in it obviously you can link it to your phone or hopefully you can for apple carplay but it looks like you may also be able to put your own sim card in it and we think the slot show them where you think the slot is tyler we think we think it's on the side there which will be easily accessible some of the early android units we had you you have to put the sim card into the electronic circuit board which is not that convenient if you want to change your sim card right i'm going to put that one there for now tyler you can have the luxury of the 4g right, and then that's got to come through here and through that bottom one right now although not tidied up i think we've got everything where we need it to be right so let's see if we can we've got to be careful now though because we've got to I've got to get this in and it's it's rooting all these cables here through this this gap because they didn't need any of those cables wow we there's not room for them in that circuit board i don't want them well some of them are usbs and things so i do want them right is that gonna oh, that's not looking far off is it tyler i've got one two three four well, i reckon we're all right I'm, I'm these wires are loose look sure. yeah so we're not trapping anything Right, have I left that screw under there? Right, let me get that screw out and get that back on. Right, so there we go. So we're all screwed in. Make sure you get these aligned. They, they sort of went a bit squiffy because you've got three different things you're trying to align there. So we should now be able to push this clock in. Let's get that back in. Oh, no, where my cable's gone? That's it, thank you, Tyler. That's that in. Oh, that's that so that is all in and we've got four cables in the right holes ready to go to the screen let's have a look at see what we've got here so we've got a lot here which i'm pretty convinced we don't need to connect um we separate them out we've got a load of ones here that seem to be to do with like um ccd with charge coupled device we've got a video in so if you wanted to add a camera a rear view camera which could be handy because we don't have that on the um 
We've got an accessory ignition. I'm not sure we need that. I'm pretty sure it's pulled that out already. Um, there we go. It's got the extra speaker. Now we do need the extra speaker. So we will need to locate the extra speaker somewhere. And what else have we got here? The, that looks like ground, a ground and, and the back. Now that may be if you want the reverse camera to come on automatically, you may need to find a reverse feed um for that which we could probably get from down here but i'm not going to do that in this one we are going to because at the moment we don't have reverse camera we could do an extra video on installing the reverse camera if people want us to do that right so and then these other three let's have a look what we've got here so we've got an audio in um if we want to plug it in is that what that says auxiliary yeah does anyone use we, we're not going to use that are we tyler because no. we've got we'll have wireless charging and we'll have um, CarPlay, which transmits audio through the wireless network, we know that. You've got Bluetooth network, and then USB, I guess, if you want. I mean, that could be useful just for charging things, I guess, having a USB port. Um, but I'm not too worried about those. You can locate those where you want. Um, the only thing we've really got to pay attention to is these two antennas here, which we'll have a go at going behind the dash and just positioning up here. Right, I'll do that now. Right, you can pull this rubber trim off here, and then you can pull this panel off here. It's got a little popper clip here, so you need to lever just here, and that gives you that. Tyler's threaded it through under here by putting his arm in here, and we can just we can just get this up in here, and it will fit through there. There's a couple of Torx screws I needed to undo. There we go, and we can just tuck that. I reckon we'll just tuck that up there, toy like that. Yeah. Get that out the way. Put that cable in there. Right, we connected the blue speaker wire and we've just brought it out the top here for now. He seems to be okay there. I'll just put him on the top. He'll be fairly out the way there. The other one, we dropped the glove box, we rooted it behind the glove box and did exactly the same thing as we did with the GPS antenna to put our 4G antenna. And th these all come with self-adhesive pads, so we'll alcohol wipe and we'll stick those out of the way so they've got clear visibility of the sky right so we're just putting this panel in now we've tucked it in the top checked i've got my start stop wire accessible in behind there i'll fish it out as i need it this was the bit i played about with the other day let me see if i can do this so you've got this bottom bit so you have to sort of lift it up to get it in but then you've really got to push it down otherwise it doesn't line up right i think i'm going right there. there you go and when you, when you get it right, it pushes in. So we've got our USB cable sticking out there. We've got that. That's all looking good, isn't it, Tyler? Set, make sure that's all. And then obviously this, this bit here needs a, a clip in. And then we've got the other side here. So let's get the, and get the top bit in. Make sure you get that top bit right tucked in and under. Right, and then he's sort of got a pop that bit down and he's fighting me again if it bites you you gotta take it out again and get it lower again there you go right it's starting to come back together right then so we can put our trim back in now can't we put our top trim back in I like it when it gets back together, Tyler. Oh yeah, start stop switch. He's fighting me a little bit. Why is he fighting me? There you go. Right, there's my little start stop switch. Where have I left him? Is he on the... Well, I'll find him. I've lost that, and then I've got to put the two screws in. Don't forget the two screws there. Right, one thing that's missing on this support is the there's no capture to capture the screws when you go through this hole. So we found a couple of these. We'll ask Jenny to put these in with her kit, and then we can just push those over. He's fighting me a bit. There we go. And that should then, when we put this back in, form a from a captive receiver for our screws to go into. Right, and then we can put this bit back down 
Now, actually, interestingly, look, one of the, I'll just put the light on that, one of the clips is sort of in there. Now, you could, let me squeeze that out of there. Let me break my nails, didn't it? Right, so I've just extracted that clip. I'd rather put it on here first. There you go. I've got eyes in there. Like that. Oh, God. He's tricky. He's fighting me. Oh, why is that fighting me, Ty? Have we not got sufficient clearance there? Oh, it's locating pins. Oh, it's, ah! It's, are those locating pins at the back? Yeah, something's not happy there. I think the, I think, yeah, if you look there, Tyler, I think you're right, though. The edge of those is catching on those two little pins there. They really need notching out, or those just need lopping off, don't they? Or lopping shorter. Um, so there you go. So that we'll have to put on later. That's a good spot, Tyler. Right, and then what we're ready now to uh, try and get this connected. So we, the only trouble is, Tyler, we don't know which one of these. We we'll have to see which way one. Ah, yeah, we can see yeah. which one. That one's that one's firing off that way. Should have one in. Well, yeah. So that one fires off that way. So lucky we did them. Which is 4G. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it can cope right. Now. Right, we got those two in. Get the white connector in. Right, and we'll get the Acra connector in. Yeah, that was a reassuring ping, wasn't it? Right, and then we've just got to lose all those wires behind there. Right, we'll lose those wires. Right, that now should go there, and that should. We should be able to find that tab. And it should locate down onto that tab, shouldn't it? Right, we've managed to sort of dock it. on. that took a bit of fighting there, didn't it, Tyler? Right, and then we go, right, let's get the start-stop switch on. Right, push him in, get him the right way up. There you go. Right, so shall we see what happens? Right, now, interestingly, the unit doesn't power up when you get in the car on that first sort of power up cycle. But when you start the car, there we go, it came up with an Android screen. So there we go, we've got the sort of, there we go, we can go there, we've got CarPlay. So there you go, there's the basic install. That's all I wanted to do today. We'll do the final, we'll, we'll do it like a product test and setting it up and using it. We'll do that in another video. Um, but there you go. I hope that's uh, inspired you and we'll put more details up about where we got it from and what price they are and everything as we go along. So keep an eye on the comments. Oh yeah, I'm, oh look at that. Tyler likes that bit. And don't forget those, those little flaps, those yeah. two little hinge panels at the back. You've got to pop up and put the two bolts in there. But I won't do that because I've got a. I've got to take it out again. We've got to cut that back, put that bit back, and get everything done. But so far, so good, Tyler. Thanks for coming in over Christmas, Tyler. All right. Right. I hope you're enjoying <laughs> your Christmas and New Year. Right. We'll crack on.